Hi everyone, Donna Sunshine Stitches. Today we're going to be working on the TZ Leaf or Fall bag. It has three zippers. Little one down here and two across the top. Everything is fully lined and it's all stitched in the same hoop. You will need your zippers. You'll need three. One inch wide, number three, nylon coil zippers. You'll need your hardware of choice and vinyl and your lining. So let's get started. Your first zipper is going to be here on the side. When you're doing this bag, you need to measure your spaces and you can see that I have things blocked out. Zipper one, zipper two, zipper three, this is the bottom or pocket one. When you're measuring for your second pocket, you will measure from here and the top pocket from the top all the way to the bottom. So let's add our first zipper. This one's too long, of course. I'm going to place it right on that edge, tack it in place, and I'll be right back. Okay, our first zipper is attached. You're going to need to trim this little thread right here. Pull your zipper tab all the way to the bottom and you want to leave it well outside of your stitch line. Then you're going to trim your zipper between the pocket line and the next zipper line and we're going to stitch right across there. Be right back. Okay, we just stitched right across the top of that zipper. And your zipper tab is well out of your stitching line. Now we're going to add the top zipper. And I'm going to go ahead and add the third zipper here. So after I attach both of those, I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to show you this top zipper. You can see it used the top guideline across the top of the zipper and the bottom of your zipper guideline for the bottom. Now we're adding the third and final zipper. Place it right over that outline and tack it in place. Okay, all our zippers are in place. Now we're going to start assembling our bag. When you're measuring for your linings, because you have three pockets, you will need two pieces of lining for each pocket. For the first pocket, you measure from the top of panel one to just below your line. Each bag will need to be measured because each bag is a different size. This is the six by eight. So there are my linings for that bag, for that pocket. When you're measuring for pocket two, go in between your zippers to the base and just below when you're measuring for pocket three, you need to go above the outline and below the bottom outline. So let's grab our first piece of lining. Turn your hoop over. When you turn your hoop over, your zipper opening will be on your right. Place your fabric right side down. And you want to be to the left of your zipper stitch and you're going to tape that in place. Once you have that taped in place, the excess is going to go to the right over your hoop. Gently turn your hoop to the right side and you're going to bring that around and tape it to the front of your hoop so it doesn't move during your stitching. Make sure you haven't moved it. Everything looks good. Now you're going to add the first panel, which is from the right of your zipper, clear to the edge of your bag. Make sure you leave enough for your seams. You want to cover your entire space for the bottom pocket. It's going to tack on the left side only. Okay, we have our first panel in place along with all of our zippers and the first piece of lining for the bottom pocket. Now we're going to do 
the fall leaf design. If you do not want a design here, just skip this step. Okay, our leaves are stitched in, and depending on the thread choice, it may be subtle or it may pop. It's really pretty in person. I know it's hard to see in the hoop here. The next step is to work on the back. Okay, working on the back of your hoop, you're going to move your lining over. When you flip it from right to left, it should cover all of their stitching space at the bottom, and you should see the right side of your fabric. You're going to tape that in place and add the second line of stitching right here along your zipper. Okay, that's what it should look like when it's all taped in place. And again, I'm going to add the second line of stitching right along my zipper. Okay, here's what the back should look like. You have one line of stitching. You see the right side of your fabric. Turn your hoop over, and you have two lines of stitching next to your zipper. Now we're going to add the second panel. And no matter the size of the bag, I use a one inch width and add extra for the, the length or width of my bag. So we have that panel and this is a multitasking step again. So turn your hoop over and you're going to take these top two pieces of tape off and you need the lining for your second pocket and again you measured from the top of your second zipper to the bottom of your outline and added extra for your seams. So you have the first piece of lining for your second pocket, the second piece of lining for your first pocket. You're going to place this right side down and you're going to cover the bottom pocket area and tape that in place. Okay, that's the first step of this multitasking step. Now you have the lining for your second pocket. You're going to place it right side down just below that double stitch line. You want the excess to go over the top of your hoop that's taped in place and it's okay if it overlaps with the first pocket a little bit. Turn your hoop over. This is the third part and last part of this multitasking step. Now you're going to add that one inch strip. Make sure it covers your side seams and we're going to tack that in place. Okay, we just attached our one inch strip and if you look at the back of your hoop you also have two pieces of lining for the bottom pocket and you added the first piece of lining for the middle pocket and it was right side down. There's your two lines of stitching. Now you're going to trim that little bit of excess because we're going to add a satin stitch right across that bottom line to finish that edge. You want it close because you want your satin stitches to be neat. So I'm going to run a satin stitch right there, just like that. Okay, there's our satin stitch, and it helps pull out that design. Okay, we're back to another multitasking step. You're going to need the second piece of lining for your middle pocket, the first piece of lining for your top pocket, and your third panel that goes between the zippers. So once you have those ready, turn your hoop over, pull your lining piece down for the middle pocket, tape that in place, you need to make sure that this goes below the bottom line of your bag, which I know this one does. So we're in good shape. 
tape that in place and you're going to add the second line of stitching under that middle zipper. I'm going to run that and trim my panel and I'll be right back. Okay, now that you have the second piece of lining ready for your middle pocket, the first piece of lining for your third and largest pocket and your third and final panel to go between the zippers, we're going to be working on the back of your hoop because you just added the second line of stitching under the bottom under the bottom middle zipper. This is what the back of your hoop looks like. You have the first piece of lining for your second pocket, both piece of, pieces of lining for your first pocket. So you have three on the hoop, two we're going to add, and you should have one for the last step. So working with the middle pocket first, you're going to place it just above that double line of stitching. That leaves one double line of stitching at the top. Your line goes from just above that double line of stitching to below the outline of your bag, right side down, and you're going to tape that in place. Okay, that's taped in place. Again, working right side down, take the first piece for your third and largest pocket, go below that double line of stitching, and it's okay if it touches the next piece of lining. And again, you're going to tape that in place. The excess is going to go over the top of your hoop. Okay, you just added your fifth piece of lining for this bag. You should have one piece left. You taped them in place, turn your hoop over. You're going to pull your lining up and over the top of your hoop, tape that in place. And you're going to add your center, center panel between the two top zippers. And we're going to stitch along the bottom and the top of that panel between those zippers. Okay, we just did the lines between the zippers to attach our panel and our pocket pieces. So again, working on the back of our hoop, we're going to pull this lining down and you should see the right side. So just to check, we have two pieces of lining for our first pocket. We have two pieces of lining for our second pocket. And we have one piece of lining for our very last pocket. You're going to tape that in place and run the second line of stitching right under that top zipper. Okay, that's all taped in place. And again, I'm going to run that second line of stitching under that very top zipper. I was so excited about finishing all the multitasking steps, I forgot to tell you. You're running the second line of stitching over the middle zipper as well as the second line of stitching under the top zipper. So the front face of your bag is complete. Now you need your D-rings or your hardware of choice and tabs and the back of your bag. The first step is to move all your zippers. You're going to move the side zipper to the satin stitching. You're going to move the top two zippers, move the tabs to the middle of your bag. Now we're going to add your hardware. If you're adding a side tab, I like to add it on this top panel. Make sure you keep everything metal out of your stitching line. I'm using one inch wide D-rings with a one inch wide by three inch long piece of vinyl for my tabs. Place them evenly, but again, out of your stitching line, out of your zipper line. I like to tape them down just in case they flip. It's happened. Okay, once those are in place, grab the back of your bag, place it right side down. 
Make sure, sure you cover all of your outside edges. Don't forget your zipper is your outside edge. And stitch that in place. Okay, we're looking at the back of the hoop. We just attached the back panel. But if you check all of your linings, you know that they're attached and your pockets are complete. This is the front of the hoop and how it should look. We're going to add the last piece to this bag. It is the last piece of lining for the third pocket. Again, cover all of your outside edges. That is your seam. Tape that in place and run the last step. Okay, all the stitching is complete on this bag. You have the opening where you'll turn it the first time. You'll turn it the second time through the top at the tearaway. You'll remove this from the hoop, remove your tearaway and trim it. And there are four sizes, there's five by seven. Your leaves can be as subtle or as bold as you like. That's what it looks like without a design. We stitched the six by eight. This is the six by 10. This is the seven by 11. Thanks so much, have a sunshine day.